Okay. This is the enemy team composition. I have a Pantheon. So, this is a game that I'll probably go for bottling to use the Pantheon. And also not let the Caitlyn Lux get out of control. It's a very poke heavy lane. Hopefully, given that I'm not gonna ask my bottling leash, hopefully, hopefully they will do something. Level 1. Instead of just being AFK over here. Uh, I'm also afraid of the Rengar invading level 1. I don't think so. But I'm afraid. Therefore, I'm gonna drop this ward. And Rico for Sweeper. Because my champion is literally, literally not a champion level 1. Mm, all of their team is one-shottable. Like, literally, ones that I have items, every single one of their team members is one-shottable. Boom, 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 boom. On this game, going to be pathing towards bot lane. I'm glad that the Pantheon is looking to do something. Um, given that I think Pantheon is a very aggressive champion, like, he really likes fighting level 1 and 2 and the thing like that. I'm going to be doing a 3 camp clear into bot lane. 1, 2, and 3. And probably do something over there. But I'm glad that they're doing something. I really hate it when team just AFKs. The enemy Rengar started bot lane. Okay, my team got a kill there. Given that they got a kill, I'll probably just finish clearing because my presence level 3 bot lane is no- Oh my god. Why would he- Why would he do that? Man. What? The hell? Given what I just witnessed as I see the Rengar level 2 ganking the bot lane, that means that he's going to be heading over here, so I'll probably look to invade him on his top camps, but before I do so, I'm going to gank mid lane. Hopefully she will not die. Unfortunate that she ended up getting herself killed. Says that she has no cooldowns and I see the Katarina spending her cooldowns over here. Okay, I no longer can invade because my, uh, what's her name? Uh, because of, uh, my mid laner dying. I cannot embed. Uh, Ringer did Raptors there. <sighs> Ringer did Raptors, and that's what he did because he has eight CS and hit level three from stealing some CS on mid lane. So unfair that he's level three. Also, kinda annoyed that I died to the Katarina there. I shouldn't be dying to the Katarina. Katarina is going to be an issue this game. 2 big and I feel like if I just walk I'm gonna get I ah, probably just have to flush so annoying that the Katarina is gonna be perma roaming as you can see she's there already
Can you do something? Apparently not. Apparently not. So Katarina can do whatever the hell she wants and she will not lose anything. Because my mid laner is not human. Keep on playing for the bot lane even if this is up. Like the bot lane is pushing and my bot lane is Omega Fed. some mission <coughs> crush the wave then head over to bot lane so I can continue ganking hopefully they don't have vision behind me What a late shield. I don't know if he had it available or not, but that was such a late shield. Please help us, buddy. comes a scuttle prior to recalling if possible okay she's jumping in My ultimate was probably a little bit overkill. And here from this, actually, let me walk up over here. He has a red buff up. He just got it. I don't know why I'm, um, I'm able to listen to that, but he just got it. He's now in Raptors, okay. I don't know why I'm able to listen to those things though. I'm on the objective here, team. I cannot gank anything. How much money do I need for Nashers? 400, so my blue side and dragon, and that's, that's my item. Which makes it in time for Herald as well. will die. Friend, are you stolty for that? There you go. Get an item. Rengar has no ultimate, he has no blue, so that means that it's okay, it's coming up, he's gonna head over there, I can pick up my own red buff and head over for a fight there, I have ultimate, he does not, I have blue, might I have flash, my Gwen is gonna be arriving, so is my mid laner, so even if it's a 3v3, it should sort of be okay, like the enemy top laner is just recalling, So I'm gonna be heading over to there now. No scuttle, as I need the time. As I really need that time for the objective. Well, not the objective, for rather for the uh, for the embed. Mid lane looks very volatile, so here I'm gonna walk up, help out. A 
I have to be afraid of Rengar. I don't know where he is. Like, if I walk to the top bush and there's a scuttle there, I mean, and Rengar is there, given that I have no ultimate, he will kill me. I have no flash, I have no ultimate, so in this situation, I have to save my E. If someone comes, I have a way of getting out. Oh. So I cannot use E on this camp. Ringer just took that. I mean, Ringer just got a bottling gank off. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, I just got spotted, so that means that, like, that was Gangplank. I have no ultimate. Dragon's coming up in 130. Oh my god. Weird sequence. What all just happened over there was a very weird sequence. I want to use this mid lane, drop it. And here, I take my recall because I have money. And Dragon is about to come up, so got a recall in time. Need a support there. She could have used ultimate and try to one shot Rengar before something happened, but. It has already been acknowledged that this Kiana player is not good. I'm just constantly putting pressure onto the mid laner, that's all. My Ezreal will probably die. Probably. Is he gonna get chased? He isn't. So I can take the objective. Okay, Katarina is on wave. Smiting early because I want to go for an invade over here and I want to have the smite ready so that I can smite and get out. Really? Okay. Didn't know that she could pick up the dagger from that far. I know I was ambition, probably should have backed off. I have a, a bounty, I cannot lose it. There were three ultimates there. Three? Did she ult? She did not. So it was Rengar and Luxon. <sighs> Very annoying. Very annoying how that happens and how all of that works. <laughs> that should give my team bottling turret because Rengar was on the top half of the map. I shouldn't be needed there. I really shouldn't be needed there. I'm not gonna path towards there. I'm just gonna continue farming. top lane because it's the only turret remaining what the hell what are they doing man 
Like, they have to be griefing. How is that not, like, how is not that a freaking win trade? What is, like, he's, in, what is going on in his head? On what universe does Rengar see that and thinks to himself, yeah, that's a good play. I will go for that. On what universe, man? Probably can go for this. Get top scuttle and then back off. I cannot kill that gangplank without ultimate. He probably has ignite, so he's just gonna ignite me. But it's such a big wave, I cannot give up that that big wave. I mean, he's probably gonna stay. Yeah, no barrels. He probably kills me. Okay, now I have ultimate. He doesn't kill me now. He's also afraid of me, which is good. I mean, the team is pressuring, so I will pressure instead of recalling. Oh. Lay on my cooldowns. Very close, so very, very close. Okay, given how low I am, I can continue to walk up. And given everything that happened, I'll just rush Ravidons instead of purchasing something else. Uh, dragon coming up, so I'm gonna be heading over there. I will have ultimate for the dragon. I don't think it's needed though. I think the game is over. I'm just so fed, and all every almost everyone on my team is good enough. Like their champions right now are on good, on a good position. There and there's also not a threat anywhere on the map. Like no one on the enemy team is a threat. Katarina was a threat at the beginning when she was three and oh three and one but she no longer is because well i didn't let her play the laning place and bot lane they were winning on their own so it was very easy for me to ignore for a little bit but get the objective and because i was keeping pressure on the rengar he couldn't do anything so yeah all in all a good game sure a couple of mistakes but it's Whatever. Steal everything from Rengar's jungle. I could be heading over for his bottling camp. I mean, for the top bottling turret there. But I would rather piss him off and steal all of his jungle camp here. Because game is over. So I don't need to be doing what's best for the game because game is already over. We're so ahead that it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, this, this thing is gone. Because of the timer.
Ah, oh, we can continue pushing. You just back off. Just back off, recall, get some money, I uh, get spend some money, get Varen and get the game. Honestly, not needed. And given like the state of the game, I also don't like. Ah, sure, I can get rock about I'm just doing this for the for the for the memes. It's been a while since I've ever built like a night harvester. It's been a while since like this item is useless. Now it's literally useless. But uh, that game's over, so it doesn't matter what I build. Honestly, I could be building shield bow and I would still win. be cool if I don't tank it and she does instead because I deal more damage. I'm gonna pick up Gromp so that I can heal up. Here we just walk mid lane and that's the end of it. Ouch. Weird angle. Ha ha ha. Collector. That's game. I hate playing against champions and farm the jungle insanely fast like the Echo. Although Echo is really not in a good spot right now. Oh, she's the devil. Echo is really not in a good spot right now. It's just that if he gets fed, well, he looks very broken. But he's not in a good spot right now. At least that's how I personally feel about the champion. Could be wrong. But I feel like there's a lot of better options right now. Gonna take a look at damages real quick. Ezreal did a hell of a lot more damage and so did Gangplank. <laughs> Looks like my one was upset with that Gangplank. But yeah, all in all a good game.